Hello, welcome to another review. Today I'm showing you the Antec Cooler H2O620. This is a liquid CPU cooling solution for your PC. Uh, this particular kit is a self-contained unit, so you've got no mess, no leaks, hassle-free, maintenance ring. So that's really, really good. So that's a really good thing about this. Uh, being a self-contained unit. Uh, so let's take it out of the box then and show you exactly what you get. Now these, uh, this particular uh, self-contained liquid CPU cooling solution uh, actually outperforms uh, stock CPU coolers so, uh, up to around 20%. So again, these are really good for overclockers and gamers that like to really get the most out of their system. So there is the main unit itself. You also get the fan to help with cooling. Uh, extructions. Oh, I that out the way. Uh, got an easy to follow guide. This is compatible with AMD and Intel. It tells you on here actually uh, socket set uh, 1156. These are the Intel ones. Uh, 1366 and 775. Then you've got your AMD, AM2, and AM3. So it's, it all tells you in there, and it also tells you exactly how to fit this kit. Really, really easy. Uh, so again, there is the main unit. Nice, thick rubber ropes, which are really, really flexible. I ain't kidding, look how flexible that is. It's got all your liquid cooling in here. So again, it's all self-contained, so you ain't got to worry about leaks, maintenance, or topping them up. Uh, your CPU block here, at the bottom it's got a nice copper plate which helps with the transfer of heat from your CPU to the liquid cooling solution right here. It's a low profile design as well, look how low that is, you know. And this bit here is also you, your actual pump as well. It's got an intelligent, oh, I've had to write this down, uh, intelligent noise slash speed fan. Uh, control for quiet and efficient cooling. Now, the reason why I've read this down because I want to particularly get this point over. All that is done intelligently from there. You've got no software to install, nothing to worry about. So that's really, really good, I reckon. So there it is. Uh, you've got 120 millimeter fan there. So that basically goes on the front like that. Then this goes into the space at the back of your case, well normally anyway, normally there's a spare slot for a 120mm fan and you basically screw that onto there and that clamps down onto your CPU like so. Uh, you also get all your bits here for all your different plates, so you've got your locking plates there, they are used to lock down the CPU unit itself, or pump, or whatever you want to call that. Uh, these are your backing plates, so they go on the back of your motherboard. Then you basically screw this bit here. You basically put one of them down over there, screw it down, and job done. So again, it's really, really easy. It's, it's all in there. Uh, I'll quickly show you that. So. Literally in about 15, 15 minutes, you, you're up and running again. So that's basically all the kit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually fit this kit to my own system and I'll show you what it looks like fitted. So well then, here we are then. We now have it fitted inside our computer. And as you can see, it looks pretty damn good. There is the, uh, the water cooling uh, CPU block. Uh, and you've got all the cables there. Go again to the radiator, your cooling radiator with your fan there, which is then blowing outwards. So that's what it looks like anyway, fitted in the system. And what we're going to do now is we're going to power up the uh, computer and we're going to actually run the CPU at 100% load uh, roughly for about uh, 30 minutes. 30, 540, something like that, uh, just to really, really get some heat, heat to the CPU to see how good 
the Antec Cooler H2O 620 actually helps keep that CPU cool at 100% low. Right then, we have now completed our test and uh, as you can see on screen, I've still got the uh, CPUs at 100% load. As you can see right there, load 100%. Highest it has reached so far on the different cores. As you can see the max has been 64 at the moment. I've been running this test now for about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, uh, the low, which is around 38 tops, uh, that is when I had it on basically basic normal use, so I didn't actually uh, use a particular piece of software to push uh, the CPU to 100% load. So it has done a really good job at uh, keeping this really cool at 100% for the amount of time. So I reckon that's really, really good. If I just stop the... Uh, the overload of the CPU and the load will now drop back down to basic normal use and as you can see already the temperature of the CPU has now dropped back down to its 40s in its 40s and you know pretty soon that, that I won't be surprised that, that it drops down even more so Overall, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Again, just a few quick points. Remember, it's a complete self-contained kit. So it's no mess, no hassle, maintenance free. It's low profile pump. So it uh, gives uh, an exceptional liquid circulation uh, while uh, preserving the internal airflow. Easy blend tubes, uh, really good uh, thick rubber as well, but they are really flexible as you see. It's got the intelligent noise slash fan control speed. Again, all that is done in the unit itself, so there's no software you have to install. And what can I say? It does the job well. So yeah, I'm very impressed with this. So yeah, I do really recommend this for anybody that's looking just for a replacement to the standard uh, stock air cooler or anybody that's into their overclocking and gaming because this, as you've seen, is going to keep your system really, really cool. Well, that's it for me and as always, you can follow me over at www.geekstech.co.uk we're on uh, twitter.com for slash for geeks tech. We're on facebook.com for slash geeks tech. We are now at empireavenue.com for slash geeks tech, which is that social uh, stock exchange game, or some people call it, but we don't call it a game. It's a good social network. And as always, any questions or queries on this, uh, feel free to leave a message in the YouTube comment or on our website, uh, our YouTube is at uh, www.youtube.com for slash geekstech or email me over at wayne at geekstech.co.uk. That's it for me. Uh, also, thank Antec for sending this to us for review. We pre really do appreciate it. And until the next time, we will see you later.